Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Stardew Valley video. Today, I'm going to be going over the three different kinds of sprinklers, what I like about each of them, and whether or not I think you should get each of them. If this sounds interesting to you, be sure to stick around. So first up, we just have the standard sprinkler. It costs one iron bar and one copper bar to make it, and it'll water these four tiles each day. Personally, I don't really think the first sprinkler is worth it, as it only waters four, and it doesn't really take very long to do. It's literally four clicks. If I had a water can, I'd do it with a water can, but it's literally as easy as that, just to water your plants. I don't think it's worth wasting copper bars for just such a small amount of watering. Anyways, on to the quality sprinkler. Next up is the quality sprinkler. It'll water these eight adjacent tiles that I'm walking on right now, and it costs one refined quartz, one gold bar, and one iron bar. I'd say this is when sprinklers are actually starting to get worth it, just because it waters eight spaces, and that's really enough to make it worth its trouble. Also, if you want to go to the mines for a whole day, it's really nice to have these quality sprinklers water all your crops so you don't have to waste energy and time that you could be spending in the mines. Anyways, on to the iridium sprinkler. And last but certainly not least is the iridium sprinkler. It'll cost you one battery pack, one iridium bar, and one gold bar, so it's not cheap. However, it'll water you these 24 adjacent tiles that I've hoed out here. Additionally, you can combine it like this to form an AFK farm, which is really convenient for if you want to go mining or fishing. You don't have to worry about planting, watering, or growing crops. This will do it for you, so you'll still be getting money, but you can still spend all your time doing whatever you want in the game. I'll put a card showing you how to build these AFK farms in the top right corner of your screen right about now. So in conclusion, I would say just the standard sprinkler, not really worth it. It doesn't really give you very much, and especially early game when you want to be keeping your resources to build bigger things, I would not recommend it building on just these small sprinklers that will only make four spaces wet. Starting at the quality sprinklers, I think this is when sprinklers are starting to get worth it. It'll save you time, it'll save you energy, which is really important mid and late game, and the same goes for the original sprinklers. Anyways, thank you for watching to the end, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more Stardew Valley videos. Thanks for watching, bye.